Hola, Luis here. You guys still around? Well, I wanted to go home, but Ashley just had to see this castle first. Perfect, because I have a present I want to give you. Medicine that will help to suppress the progress of your problem. Where do we go? Let's see. Come to the courtyard inside of the castle. We can meet up there. Ciao. All right, Ashley. Luis just said. I got it. Guess we better get going. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Resident Evil 4 Remake. This is Chapter 7. As you can see, I'm using a little bit different uh, costumes. So this is the villain costume for Leon. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty cool. I got the red eyes and everything. The only thing I don't really like are all the feathers on my arm. But And then I also put Ashley back to the romantic costume. But I did give her the glasses. Actually, I just remembered. You can change the accessories. So I can show you guys what the red hair looks like without reloading. Unfortunately, it takes away the glasses. You can only have one or the other. Um, not really sure why. I mean, I like her red hair and everything. I like the white hair too. But I kind of feel like the glasses just go really well with her. So I'm going to go back to the glasses. And I know there's actually more accessories we can unlock, um, including different glasses as well. So, But for now, let's just continue like this. So... This is chapter 7. It's going to be a little bit long. Probably about an hour. This is the third time I've actually played this chapter. First time just to play it. Second time to record it. Unfortunately, that recording that might interest you. had a bunch of lag. So I went and lowered the graphics a little bit. Hopefully that fixes the lag. And now I'm trying to record it again. Welcome. Not a big deal. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Let's buy the treasure map for the castle so we All don't miss anything. Nothing castle. else is interesting to me and except for this. The exclusive the upgrade ticket, which will grant access to a weapon's exclusive upgrade regardless of the weapon's level. Yeah, that's probably going to be one of the last things we get. We can sell Mendez's false eye, which is kind of weird because in the original... Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price, well, that's our choice. I'm trying not to talk over him. Got a selection of good In the original, sales, the right? eye was very important. Like, you needed it to unlock a door to, you much good in the grave. like, continue on. Like, you had to show the eye to, like, a retina scanner. You know what I mean? But in this one, it's just something you sell, which is kind of weird. Thank All right, you. let's repair the knife. Good is new. Now, there's a few new weapons to look at. As you can see, we got the blacktail pistol. We got the stingray Why rifle try your and, a new and the broken butterfly, stranger. which is I'll on sale and comes with the Magnum ammo recipe if you buy it right now, um, which is a really good deal if you want this weapon. However, I don't really want the broken butterfly. I'm more interested in the Killer 7, which is a different Magnum. This is not considered a pistol. It's considered a Magnum, and it takes Magnum ammo, not pistol ammo. And Magnum ammo is very hard to find. Um, you can get the recipe to craft, but basically what I'm thinking is uh, I'm going to buy the Stingray for sure. You definitely want to get this. This level is going to be really hard if you don't get this rifle and the scope. And the rifle and the scope take a lot of inventory space. And if you look at our inventory, we don't have a lot of space. So what I'm going to do... Well, first I guess we can combine these. I'm actually going to sell my Red 9. I know, I know, it seems crazy. We just got the stock. But we can always buy it back later. And the Red 9, honestly, is like the most powerful pistol. But the Black Tail... Is pretty powerful as well. It's it's pr pretty much the best all-around gun, you and it only takes for buck, four man. slots. So we're gonna save a ton of space. So let's sell the red nine. The bolt thrower. Ruby's I'm just gonna makes no difference. The price, well, that's throw in storage. <laughs> but for now, Thank let's you. get the black tail. That's an exemplary firearm right there, stranger. The Not scope. But you don't. The black tail, see what I mean? It takes up so little Get space. Killed now. Let's throw the uh, let's throw the mine thrower. 
in storage or the bolt thrower sorry um we're not really going to use it in this episode and it just takes up space <laughs> but we might use it later well, so i don't want to sell it what can i interest you if you sell a weapon i figured out you get 50 percent of the weapon back value and you get like 90 percent of the upgrade cost back which is most of the cost of the weapon so you get overall like 75 percent of your money back um let's buy the rifle the stingray this takes this up a lot of space. Turns heads into pumpkins, mate. Take this for a rampage through the patch. <laughs> Let's upgrade a bit. We're Pistol. starting to get an idea of your taste, friend. Try that on for size. See how that feels, mate. Okay. Fella like yourself should notice the difference right away. Fella like yourself. Um We're gonna use I wish I could go all the way Molding on the power. A weapon to suit your specific needs. <laughs> it's a combat. Look at that weapon, guys. Um, so let's. That's fine. And then the the rifle, I'm actually gonna put it above the pistol. The shotgun can go right there. Okay, so we got three frags, three flashbangs, bunch of healing items. I saved up a lot of rifle ammo. In the past, like I wasn't using any of it. I knew we were going to get this gun eventually. I just didn't want to spoil it for you guys. Uh, let's equip the scope. But yeah, that's why I wasn't getting rid of any rifle ammo. And we can craft more. But honestly, we already have a bunch. I would rather craft shotgun shells, which I can't. So we'll just hold off on crafting for now. Anytime. Take a look at these guns. Hold on, guys. Look at this beast. Yeah. Pretty sick, right? Ashley. It's got a scope. You can, like, zoom in a little bit. <laughs> I was trying to zoom in on Ashley. I guess I can't. Give me some space. Got it. I'll maybe, stay back. Maybe if I do this. <laughs> Why not treat yourself? Man, I could have sworn before I was able to... <laughs> Alright, uh, before we leave, let's go ahead and round about behind the merchant because there's some more items. And honestly, after I get these items, I'll probably sell and upgrade the rifle one more time. Let's just go, go sell the compass right away. And then we're going to start the level. And the level, like Hello, I said, it's going to be a little bit of a Welcome. journey. Ooh. What you buy? Let's just sell that, Thank and you. then we can upgrade the rifle all the way. Dazzled, a pleasant on power trip. anyway. All right, so this is this is going to be a fun episode, guys. There is one mini boss on me, and then oh. there's a part at the end that isn't a boss fight, but it's a pretty difficult part. There's just a lot of enemies. You'll see. Courtyard's got to be through that gate. Don't think our hosts are going to roll out the red carpet. So that's the door we want to go through. What is that? I'm guessing it's not for decoration. Obviously, it's a catapult, Leon. And yes, they're going to use it. Crossbows, huh? Something tells me they don't want to be friends. No, no, they don't. Let's just keep getting better. We're not going to snipe them yet, though. We will be sniping soon enough. Let's go ahead and come in here. <coughs> what are they? Shh. Keep your voice down. I don't think there's anything in this room. But look at this map, guys. Yeah, that's the whole castle, probably. So we're not going to do all of that. Probably like half of it. Uh, but there's a lot of loot. Let's go this way, Ashley. Ashley, do you hear something? So last time on this fight, it lagged really bad when uh, his head popped off. So hopefully it doesn't happen. Oh, hi. What does it look like, Ashley? 
something that wants to eat us. Don't even mess around with pistol with that guy. Yeah, hopefully it didn't lag there. Let's get a boot knife. And yeah, he was he was like a, a next level plug us. If you let that plug us hit you, it will probably kill you in one shot or at most two shots. If it's not lagging when I'm looking at the fire, then that's a great thing because it was lagging pretty bad before. Yeah, Ashley looks really good with the glasses. Let me know if you guys like these costumes. I can always change Leon back to the romantic if you don't like the villain outfit. Not a big deal at all. Honestly, I probably like the romantic outfits the best uh, out of all of them. But for this episode, we'll just do the villain. Okay, this is where the fun begins. Muerte. Muerte. I think that means like kill or die or death or something in Spanish. I'm not sure. Let the sniping begin. I think I hit him. Usually their heads just kind of explode. I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, well, he's dead. There's an exploding head. Try not to miss with the rifle because it's not like we come across rifle ammo too, too often. Come on, poke your head out. Nobody? There's one. There's another. I thought there was another guy over here. Ah, oh, there he is. Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? Too slow. <laughs> okay. Now, where were we? Let's grab some gunpowder. Actually, I might be able to craft some... Uh, why do I have all this submachine gun ammo? I really should have just sold it. I didn't even notice we had that. Let's craft a shotgun. We're going to need it. All right. Poor dude didn't stand a chance. Now, there is blue medallions in this area, and I think there's six. Luckily, since I've done this area three times, I pretty much know where they are. Notice the red barrel there next to the catapult? Yes, this is a castle, Ashley. What do you think? We have our own heavy artillery, but we can't use it yet. We gotta get to it. That's what we're gonna use to blow open the door. Hi, buddy. We might be able to actually lure some guys over here, but let's just blow this one up. All right, one down. We don't have to worry about that one anymore, but there, I uh, should have let them blow him up. One shot, pathetic. Grab the sapphire. Now, once we go yes, over here, pretty sure, yep, some guys are going to come from behind. What are you doing? Let go of my girlfriend, bro. Find your own. That's going to happen a lot on this level. Uh, people just like to abduct Ashley like crazy. But it's not a big deal unless they like walk away kind of far with her. And no, she will not like defend herself at all. It's really unfortunate. You would think she would at least fight him a little bit. 
But no. Alright, now coming up here, we gotta be more careful. There's a lot of guys. And there's a lot of cannons. I mean, a lot of catapults. That are trying to blow us up. Instead of going to the left, which is where the main doors are, we are gonna run this way. But let's wait. Wait for the blast. Alright, go, go, go. If Ashley gets blasted by the catapult, it's not that big of a deal. Ow! What the heck? Oh my gosh, my aiming is so wacky right now. Don't let his head pop off because it is one of those stronger Las Plagas. There's actually a catapult up there, but... Somewhere. Oh no, up here. Let's try to run across really fast. We should be able to. There is resources and another medallion. From here, we should be able to snipe this barrel. All right, there's one. And this final catapult, we can actually just use our own. Are you kidding me? What hit me? Did they launch a catapult before? Like, whatever. We can heal fully with these, so I'm not really that worried about it. We have a lot of large resources. I just want rifle ammo. I don't even want anything else, so... We just need more gunpowder, I guess. With the large resources, anyways. Um, yeah. Did you do that, bro? Oh, wait. There's another catapult. Did we miss that one? I forgot about that one. There. Wait, they're still shooting. Okay, let's back off a little bit. I forgot about that one. And I don't see the red barrel. Not a problem, I believe. There it is. Just got to get a different angle. Now they're all done. Let's drop down here. This is kind of a secret area. You don't have to come down here. Wow, that's a big drop, Ashley. You all right? Don't break your leg. But if you do come down here, you will be rewarded with lots of loot, some money, uh, handgun ammo, money. Also, the final blue emblem, I think. Blue medallion is somewhere around here. Should be able to find it. We haven't even picked up the quest for the blue medallion, but we're still gonna probably get them all before we even pick up the quest, which is fine. Let's drop down here. Three barrels right here. Ah, yeah, there it is, see? Completed the quest without even trying. And the elegant bangle. Which we can socket with two sapphires, which actually matches the color of the bangle perfectly. Cool, cool. Unlock this door. You'd think a little wooden door like this would not stop somebody like me. I think I could just kick it down, but apparently not. Alright, so that's about it for this area. We actually zoomed through it pretty quickly, really. Oh, dang. Are you kidding me? I actually forgot... To use the cannon to shoot the door. That's like the main reason you need the cannon. And I didn't even do it. That's more like it. Alright. That went well. A little warning next time. A warning? You could see me aiming the catapult at the door. What did you think I was doing? Come on, Ashley. Not only that, but you were standing behind me perfectly safe. So just chill. I'm not going to cannon you. It's okay, Ashley. 
You should be more worried about being abducted. Because honestly, there's going to be a lot of people trying to do that. Um, before we go on. Look at this place. I mean, it's old, but... It's a castle, Ashley. Of course it's awesome. Oh, I see you took care of a request. I did. <laughs> Good stuff, stranger. What can I interest you in? Let us do rate of fire. Night, Nick. We're starting to get an idea of your tank. And I don't really want any of these other things. Although I will sell the TMP ammo. It's just taking up space. Or submachine gun ammo. I don't really use submachine guns. Won't do you just much sell it. In the grave. A deal well struck. <laughs> Let's buy... Too bad I can't buy gunpowder. It's all I really Pull want. Up, don't get yourself killed now. Alright, let's go ahead and save. Uh, I'm just gonna save down here. Whatever. Now, don't forget to break all these little urns. This next part is about to be a cutscene, and then we're gonna get ambushed by a bunch of people. So I'm just gonna get my frag grenade ready. Um, one thing I will say before the cutscene happens, they changed the way that Salazar looks, Ramon, um, he's the lord of this castle. In the original, he looked a little different, and I, if I can, I'll cut a video of what he looked like before and what he looks like now. You guys can judge for yourself, but for me, I prefer the original better just because it is the original. It's how he has looked and is supposed to look, but for some reason, they drastically changed how he looks. They took away his hat. They made his head twice as big. And I don't know, he doesn't look bad in this one, but if you grew up playing this game like I did and beat the game multiple times, the original, I don't know why they changed how he looks because he, he looked really cool in the other one, I thought. But whatever. Just wanted to give my opinion on this. A most warm welcome to my castle. Such a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance, Mr. Kennedy. Who the hell are you? Me? Oh, please, call me Ramon. And allow me to get straight to the point. I would like you to hand the girl there over to me. Now. Yeah, fat chance, Ramon. The girl's just fine with me. Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy. How novel. Nonetheless, you see, the girl must be ours. With a girl as the very source, your United States, and then the entire world shall overflow with his grace. For that is the iron will of my master, the most holy, Lord Sadler. So then, you will comply. Yes? Uh, no. Never! You heard the lady. How unfortunate. Do make sure our guest feels at home, now that he has chosen death. Yeah, he looks kind of ugly. His guards look amazing, though. Leon? Just stay close. Starting to wonder when you might notice us. Who are you? Me llamo Ramon Salazar, the eighth castellan of this magnificent architecture. I have been honored with the prodigious power from the great Lord Sadler. I've been expecting you, my brethren. No thanks, bro. My, my, we've got a feisty one. If you care for your own well-being, I suggest you surrender yourself and simply become our hostage. Or, Mr. Scott, you can give us the girl because you're not worth a penny, I'm afraid. You can die. I'm never turning into one of them. Never. Got that right. We'll find a cure. And this is what I was going to use the grenade for. Here you go. <laughs> Any more? Any more? Stay back. Okay. 
Watch out from behind. Oh, I shot him in the head. Come on. That guy you cannot shoot in the head. He's wearing a metal helmet. Ooh, dang. He just melted into nothing. Nasty. Kind of just became a puddle. Come on. Okay. Okay. Now that that's over with, um, let us just loot around here in this room. I like the fog on the floor. It's a nice touch. I wonder if I have the graphics turned up higher, if the fog would like roll around me better when I walk through it. But it's all good. We got a lock cabinet here, another lock cabinet there. We'll get those a little bit later. Um, let's just try to touch the door right here and locked. Update our objective. To get to the courtyard. Grab a yellow herb. Oh, let's check our gap in the wall, locked door. Yeah, treasure, treasure. Yeah, the treasures in the corners. Uh, we will get at least that one and that one in this episode, but the other ones not so much. All right, Ashley, I need your help. Come on. Hang on. Be careful. And she just gets abducted. No, I'm just kidding. She's fine. Uh, let's see. Do I have enough gunpowder to craft more rifle ammo? Yeah. And let's add this to that. Make a super potion. And I might as well heal. Let's just eat the egg. Now we're ready. Okay. I owe you one. <laughs> Who put gunpowder in that little vase? And that one. And that one. And before we go on, let's head on over here to this chest that we saw through the bars here. Grab an elegant perfume bottle. I'd give it to you, Ashley, but I need to sell it for money. Don't worry, though. I'm going to get you out of here alive, and then you can go buy one if you want. Sure your dad can afford it. Alright, let's get the loot over here. Got another ruby. Some money. Looks like we can continue on this way. Be careful. Okay, so this is a torture chamber. Um, if you can't tell. And it's also where. Oh, why does the textures look so bad? I guess I had to turn the textures down a little too much to make sure it didn't lag. But yeah, normally he's all cut up. Caretaker's note. I was awake, awoken in the middle of the night once again. It's those awful noises coming from the basement. Sounds of nails clawing at the stone walls and the writhing moan of curses. That man harbors enough hate to ruin this world. He once served Lord, the lord of this castle as the torturer like his father and grandfather before him one of the more unsightly legacies left by the Salazar family. Even among the, his family, he was special. He enjoyed his work, wholeheartedly had a talent for it. He was gifted at tormenting others. His ability soon attracted the master's interest, and when he took him to the dungeon... No, I can't write anymore. I won't. I, I don't want to recall what happened down there. My mind can't take it. It'll break me. I was ordered to attend to him, to feed him, to dispose of all the filth, all while listening to that wretched voice every night. I can't take it anymore. I've had enough. I will not tolerate one more night in this castle. I shall leave tomorrow. Go far away where that voice cannot reach my ears. <sighs> Poor bastard. That's no way to go. Well, it's a way to go. Kind of hard to see in here, but... What was that? Did they keep animals down here or something? Something like that. That chair looks comfortable. Dungeon key. Ha muerto la luz. I think it means like there's no more light or the light is gone or I don't know.
Boss time. Wish me luck. Hi. Can't see me. No, but he can hear you, dummy. Okay, let's let's go away from him as quickly as possible, preferably without touching the chains. Let's get into this open room. He does not see me. Now the thing with him is you can get behind him and stab him. Another thing about uh, this fight, if you examine this beautiful weapon, look at the perks. 3x power against weak points. That means if we shoot that flog us with the rifle, it'll do massive damage. So you can either use your knife, which honestly I have a lot of knives, so let's just go knife only. I'm gonna save the rifle ammo. You definitely wanna crouch in this area though. I'm over here. He's going for the pot because I broke it. Be careful not to touch any of the chains, like I say. All right, where are you going to go now, buddy? Are you going this way? Don't even need to waste ammo on you, bro. I wonder if he can smell me. How is he alive down here? Like, if his caretaker left, he's not eating or drinking, and he was locked to a wall, like, wouldn't he just starve to death pretty quick? You're getting a little bit close, buddy. Woohoo! <laughs> he, he didn't like that. Goodness. Chill, bro. Chill. Chill. I, I'm hoping one more knife to the back will do it. Actually, I only have three knives left. Let's just go ahead and uh, rifle him right in the weak point. I thought our knives would last a little bit longer than that. Are you limping, bro? One shot was all it took. A red barrel. Okay, any uh, loot? Oh, one more vase here, or urn, or whatever the heck that is. Okay. Um. You good, bro? You don't look too good, bro. What are you doing? What is his body doing with that chain? <laughs> okay. Can't get out of here before my game glitches anymore. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I remember how you get out of here. You got to crank that wheel. Which, if you crank the wheel during the fight, he will come and just, like, pwn you. So don't even try, really. Just crank it after. You can see how loud it is, plus I'm banging the chains as I'm doing it. Yeah, it's like certain death. By the way, I don't think that guy even hit us once. That's pretty cool. And we got the key, so we can just get out of this area now. You good, Ashley? 
Oh, it's you. It is me. Nothing. You were right about the animals, though. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she was. You know, in a in, in a sense. <laughs> All right. Well, that was. You okay? I'm fine. Well, it wasn't the now. hardest part in this level. You coming? Now, if you're trying to get all the clockwork castle and statues, there is one in this area, in this room. I forget exactly where it is, but it is in this room. <laughs> I already got it, so you cannot hear it, but if you didn't get it, you would be hearing it. But I do hear that. A silver token. I think it's like over there or something. I don't really remember, but there's one in this room. Oh yeah, this part is kind of cool. Look at all of this. Let's grab these swords. Gold sword, rusted sword. A missing and then an iron yeah this place is pretty cool I will say that in the original the castle vibe is pretty much the same except the layout of the rooms and stuff is is quite a bit different so it's still new to me all right so the other sword is right there and to get it we have to open this gate bird stag snake bird Stag. Snake. Bloodied sword. Actually What's looks amazing. Well, it's just a replica. Only a couple of uses for it. It's a sword, Ashley. What do you think it's used for? My goodness. Aren't you in college? Actually, can I open this? Of course I can. Can I craft more shotgun ammo? I don't have any small resources? Dang. All right, so now we have to put the swords back in order. If you look closely at the pictures, it's not too hard. So the first one is just an iron sword. It kind of tells a story. This one is uh, a ceremony, so it's gonna get the golden sword. This artwork, doesn't it look like it's telling some kind of story? So what I just said, this one is a battle scene, so it's going to get the bloodied sword. And then this one is a tombstone, so it's going to get the rusted sword. Oh. Guess you were right. Guess so, Ashley. All right. Grab some more loot. What are you looking at? Oh my gosh. I didn't think it would break. I just destroyed a priceless artifact. Dang it! Snake? Well, he didn't even do damage to me, surprisingly. And that's a healing item. Okay, now I got the small resources. Let's, let's craft these. And let's craft uh, some more shotgun because honestly, I got a lot of pistol ammo. But our shotgun is what's going to do the heavy lifting. A little bit more loot before we go on to the next hard part of the level. Gold bangle. Very nice. I don't think... Uh oh yeah, we got to do this part. So, just shoot that. And we got to go to the other side to get the other one. But before we go to the other Hang side... On. This is the same room as before, isn't it? Yes. Yes, actually. she just circled around. Nope. We went upstairs, but you were close. Now, let's hit the ladder down. It's a shortcut. And let's jump across. Leon, what are you doing? Hmm? Don't even think about trying this yourself. What's it look like I'm doing? As if. I'm exploring. Let's go down here and we can get this chest with a golden hourglass. Unlock the door to get out of here. And we're just going to go right back up the ladder over here. Nope, Ashley, go right back up. Leon, are you kidding me? Nope, I'm Jumping not. Jumping across chandeliers, seriously, who does that? 
I do. <laughs> what are you, my mother? Seriously, do you want to get out of here or not? Now, let's jump across the next one. <clears throat> Come on, Ashley. It isn't even hard. Don't leave me. I'm not. We're literally meeting. But nice to know that you want to stick by my side. This is actually our castle now, Ashley. I claim it. And I will give it to you as our wedding gift. You're going to be Count Ashley. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Um, oops. Another cupboard. First, we gotta uh, take care of the previous owners. <laughs> Salutations, Mr. Kennedy. Are you ready to hand over the girl? Not no. this guy again. <laughs> I'm taking the liberty of preparing some entertainment for you. Without further ado, the gallant knight. Protects the princess bear. Ugh. Shut your mouth. <coughs> Ugly. <laughs> Should be a save station here, and this is a really good place to actually save. Parasites and their ecology, volume two. There are some parasites that have the ability to control their hosts. This is basic knowledge among most biologists, but not much is known as to how the parasites do it. The following is a list of several such parasites. Dicrochilium. Once the larvae of this parasite migrate to the ant's esophagus, they alter the behavior of the ant. When the temperature drops in the evening during peak grazing hours, the infected ant climbs to the top of a plant clamps onto a leaf using its mandible with the intention of being eaten. The larvae of this parasite make their home inside the brain of a fish, such as yellowtail and the parrot bass. Once infected, the fish makes its way up to the surface water, water surface where it will swim until eaten by seabirds. This parasite, sporocytes, develop in the snail's eye stalks where they pulsate like worms. Ew. They alter the snail's behavior and force it to move to the top of the plant to make it more visible to birds. Once eaten by a bird, the parasite will complete its me metamorphosis into an adult. Okay, that's some crazy stuff. I think those ones are actually real. Alright, let's just uh, save it. Hopefully we don't die in this next part, but anything is possible. This is a locked door, so... Won't open. Um, just make sure we got all the loot. I don't think we can go this way either. Or actually, it's just the way back to the audience chamber. We can open the door. Just a shortcut. Okay. Um, and the door closed. Oh, that one didn't shatter. Must be made of marble. Maybe the other one was only like a plaster. Okay, um, this next room is called the water room, I think, and it in the original game, it's one of the hardest games. Uh, it's one of the hardest areas, I should say. However, because I'm experienced, we should be fine. Still going to be a little challenging, though. We're going to get ambushed very quickly. So, Ashley, just come back here. Give me some space. No prob. Where are they at? The people aren't coming yet. Okay, well, they will. <coughs> There's a lot of loot around here we can grab while we yeah, wait. They're here. Oh, okay. Ah, good. the entertainment. Alright, let's get another frag out. Leon, watch out! Stay back! No prob. Yeah. Oh, Ashley. Ashley, I said stay back. Are you kidding me? No. Don't do anything. Now you can see why I wanted the shotgun. Put her down. Put her down. And now you see why I wanted the knives. I 
know that dude's a parasite head, but we're gonna Sorry, must have slipped. Circle around. I got a lot of pistol ammo, so let's look for the loot around here. I will say in this version, you all right? In the remake, this part seems a little easier than it was in the original. Because it was super hard in the original. So we're not over. We're not over. There is more to it. This is just the beginning. But first I want to get all the loot. Alright. Um, now to continue, we need to crank this. But we don't have the crank yet. We got to drop down. Um, not this way. Other side. There's a bunch of enemies above us and below us, but first we're gonna go below. Give me some space. Got it. I'll stay back. Got a lot of rifle ammo still. Make all of them uh, pop their plug us out because then we can get them all with a flashbang. It's it's not too hard. There's also an explosive barrel somewhere that you can use, but I find the flashbang to work the best. You too, buddy. You too. This is gonna be bright. Saved a lot of ammo just by doing that. Close. Okay. We just got our ammo back. Actually, actually, this way. I tried using that barrel uh, on a different playthrough, and it did hit them, but it didn't kill them in one hit. Which is why I feel like just <coughs> popping their heads off and then flash banging them is the way to go. All right. Let's grab the crank, or the halo wheel. This should do the trick. How did that explosion not even break this base right here? We're actually getting a lot of money. Alright, uh, we should be able to crank this back up, but first, get all the loot we can. Actually, this is going to crank some stairs. Whoa, we're getting shot by crossbows, so Ashley, come over here, please. Spread out! Okay. Just just stay in the corner to be honest. Yo. Don't shoot. Alright. They also shoot Ashley, which is annoying, because then you gotta go save her. Got another guy? I just want to headshot him. Oh, I shot his arm off. I did use quite a bit of pistol ammo to do that, but whatever. I mean, rifle ammo. Could probably craft some more by, by now, to be honest. Present for you. We save the frag grenades for situations just like this. Look 
Okay. I think that's all of them. They did not want me Are you okay? coming yeah. back up here. You can see though how it could be easy to get overwhelmed if you're not careful. Alright, now we can crank this one to get to the next area. But we're still not out of this. And the next part is actually the hardest. Because we're going to have to protect yet. Ashley and protect ourselves at the same time while Ashley's trying to like crank some other levers. She's going to be getting attacked constantly. And um, yeah, it's not too hard in the remake. Like I said, I literally feel like they made it easier. Doing this part in VR was intense as well. It's always intense, but for some reason on this one, it's, it's not as bad. Go get the loot over here real quick. Okay. So we're gonna boost Ashley up um, to this upper level by that black stuff. But first, let's crank this a little bit. go Hidden platform? A little over the top don't you think no it's not over the top it's dope I'm assuming if you go swimming in that black water it's pretty much death um like I have so many resources it doesn't I got I just have a lot let's craft a flashbang all right Ashley let's get to work shall we you ready for this? More. No problem. She's got to crank two levers. This one, and then she's got to walk all the way across and crank another okay? one. Yeah, Let's just stand up here this. and protect her. Most of these guys only need two shots. They're going to start coming for me pretty soon as well. Be careful. Oh my gosh. Good thing I crafted more ammo. They keep coming. All right. Making this look easy. Give me a break already. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hi. Nah, nah. Hang on. I've got you. here you can jump that nice you want to come down here buddy so I can kill you get your loot excellent so yeah I made that look easy but it can be a lot harder if you have never done this before probably um, is there any loot over here that kill anyone not really hey bro come on down here oh there you are I didn't really use that much shotgun, so let's save it for you. Okay. That's that. Let's get out of here. Come on. Shotgun shells. Handgun ammo.
And now we're in a beautiful, though broken down courtyard. <laughs> Ramon ain't really keeping his castle uh, very uh, maintenanced. Probably killed all his staff. This way. Boost no Ashley up. And we're pretty much at the end of the level, so... Yep, we did it in just about an hour, which is what I was expecting. <coughs> Don't die on me. Hey, you sure you're good? Yeah. That didn't sound very convincing, and honestly, we know you're not good. Looks like the right place. You okay? I think so. Instead of worrying about her, worry about your own skin. Foolish little life. Ow! Good job, Leon. You lost the girl. And the chapter ends with Ashley and Leon getting split. Zero deaths. 84.5% accurate. Only got damaged three times. Not bad. Let's go ahead and save. And yep, that is the end of chapter seven, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Got three different chapter eight starts, so I think we're ready to go. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the uh, costumes. Do you want me to go back to um, the romantic costume for Leon? Or do you want me to go to default? If nobody says anything, I'm probably just going to go back to the romantic Leon. This one. But it's up to you guys. Let me know. Ashley doesn't really have a whole lot of choices at the moment, so... And uh, yeah, take it easy, and I hope to see you in the next episode.